So this is wrong question number 41. This question is wrong circles topic. Circles for class 10. This question is good for all the moves, CBSC, ICC, IGCSC, all the moves. Okay, let us try to understand this question. Calculate the angle X, Y, Z. Okay, so they are given this question. What is the figure which is given? This is the figure. And you know, a bit uh, confusing figure. Uh, will you be able to do the question? Um, so I uh, couldn't do this. Okay, so let us try to understand this question on the circuit sheet. Okay, can you see the figure now? Yes. So let us try to understand this question. Okay. So they have given us the ratio and they want us to calculate the value of xyz. Now usually in all these ratio questions we assume that the ratio to be equal to k. Is it okay till here? Yes. Sir. So we know that x is 3k, y is 4k, z is 5k. This is the standard ratio proportion that we had done in the previous chapter. Any doubt it there? No. So you will understand that now you just have to find the value of k. Once you have the value of k, you will put the value of k here and then you will be able to find the value of xyz. Any doubt in there? No. Okay. So let's start uh, doing the question. This is what they had given us. This is x. Do we agree? Yes. Now this is x. Therefore, this is uh, 180 minus x for a simple reason. And this is a this is a straight line. Any doubt there? Yeah? No. Okay. So this is 180 minus x. Now if this is x, this is x because these are vertically opposite angles. Any doubt there? Yeah? No. no. So this is what we have been given that this is y and this is x. So this angle would be 180 minus x plus y. Do we agree? Yes. This would be 180 minus x plus y. Okay. Now if this is 180 minus x plus y, this would be x plus y. Do we agree? Yes. This is x. This is z. This angle. This angle. This angle would be x plus z. Do we agree? Yes. Actually, this would be 180 minus x plus z. Okay. Now, this is this angle is 180 minus x plus z. Therefore, this angle would be this is the one. Uh, so, this would be 180 minus uh, 180 minus x plus z. 180 minus x plus z. Great. This angle, this angle is 180 minus x plus z. So, what I'm asking is. What would be this angle? So, just see. so this angle would be uh, 180 minus 180 minus x plus z. So, this would be 180 minus 180 minus x plus z. So this angle would be x plus z. Any doubt about it? See the same logic we use here also. Because this was x, this was y, this was 180 minus x plus y. Is it making sense now? Yes. See, so this angle is 180 minus x plus y. So, yes. this is, it forms a linear pair. Therefore, this angle would be, let's see. The, so, this angle would be, uh, 180 minus 180 minus x plus y. The same logic is being used both ways for both angles. So this is x plus y and this was this is x plus z. Are we clear there? Yes. Okay. So we have reached till here that this is x plus y. This is x plus z. This is 180 minus x. And this is x. So, Mr. Sivan, can you suggest what should I do next? So, next, uh, I think we have. So, next, what we can do is uh, 180 minus. 
किया गया वॉट यू कैन डू मीन दिस एंड दिस इफ यू लुक क्लोजली x plus y plus x plus z is equal to 180 degree you look closely you have this as a cyclic coordinate do we agree yes in this cyclic coordinate this angle plus this angle would be 180 degree do we agree yes so this is what i have done that that x plus y x plus y plus x plus z would be equal to this will be so this would be equal to 2x plus y plus z is equal to uh, 180 degree 180 degree so when i solve this this would be equal to 2x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree do we agree to this yes what should i do next Put the values of x, y, and z. Yes. If I put the value of x, y, z in terms of k in this equation, I will be able to find k. So here, so six plus four ten plus five fifteen k is equal to one eighty degree. K is equal to twelve degree. Then I put the value of k here, and I put the value of x, y, z to be These three angles. Any doubt here? Yeah. Again, let's see. This is uh, one of the interesting problems, and you should try to do question like this because what they might do is uh, they can give you a ratio like this. They can give you a ratio like this. And then maybe some other uh, theorem can be used in the circle problem. So, using the ratio, you'll have to find the value of k first, and then using the value of k, you'll have to find all the angles. Any doubt in it? No doubt. No. 